regret I can't deny I found love, I don't deserve it I could do recognize it Showed me that I deserve it Cause every time you will remind me All day you care for me Samantha? Um, she, she can't make it. What? Why? Well, I, I sent her a message. Yeah. She said I should tell you that she's sorry. Sorry, cake. Uh, just keep holding it, okay? Okay, so when is she going to be free? Tomorrow? The day after? I can always make another arrangement. Today is her freaking birthday, bro. What do you want to do? Postpone it? Um, I'm sorry. We need to see. I think you'll talk about it. I need to go. Um, um, sorry. Wait. Uh, I'd like to pack this up for her. Quick, get a bag. <sighs> sorry, it, it'll only take a minute. Yeah. Um, guys, it will, we can all sit down. Yes, of comfortable. Where did you spend your night? <laughs> Girl, I had such a wild night. <laughs> I can see. You look too happy. Anyways, I need to go. No, I am running late. Come back. Let me tell you all about my night and my sweet guy. Oh, Soji. Soji is the best guy ever. Do you know he took me on a yacht? Oh my gosh, the yacht was giving. The yacht is owned by his father's friend. Soft, sweet life. Beautiful. Oh gosh. Rich people problems. Girl, it was amazing. Samantha. Do you know that Daniel organized a surprise party for you and you did not show up? Moving on, the yacht was so big. It had like white things by the corner and it was, it was just... Um, as much as I would love to listen to this, I am running late. I need to go. No, When I get back, back, I will listen to the rest of it. I love you. Love you too. Extraordinary. The way you look at me. Saji. Oh, Saji. Hi, Saji. Bye, Saji. See you later, Saji. 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 <laughs>
Hallo? Samantha? Are you okay? What, what, what's wrong? Are you crying? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. You know? I'm coming, okay? I'll be there shortly. I'm coming. Zed! What's up? Take care of the store. I'm coming. Okay, sir. Hi. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, you cooked? Yeah. Samantha is not feeling too well, so I came to take care of her. Oh, really? Yeah. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She's been crying non-stop. Are you serious? Oh my god, my baby. Just leave. Babe, you have to eat something. I said get out. I don't want anything. Please, please, please see him out. He's so annoying. Uh, Daniel. Babe. I think you should probably come back later. Okay. Um, okay, please, please take care of her. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make sure she eats. Okay. Hello. Just take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you soon. Fine, thank you so much for everything. It's okay, it's okay. What happened to you? Soji! Soji dumped me! Oh what, what, did, did, what, what happened? Did something happen between you two? Did you two? No, you just said that, that I'm a nice girl, but that he, he doesn't want to hurt me. Hurt you? What does he mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. Little good guys always leave me. Why? He's, he's from a rich family and then, and then he, he said that his, his family arranged a wife for him to marry. In this 21st century, do they still do that? Apparently, I, I had to Google it and, and I saw that, you know, it's still happening. I, I, I saw so many scenarios online. One girl, one girl in Czech Republic even said that after dating a guy for 20 years, they just discarded her, got him a wife. It even still happens in India. So hurt. My, my life is over, babe. Your life is not over. Your life is not over. Stop crying. 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 What's up, yeah, man? I'm okay, I'm okay. I was at your store yesterday. Your apprentice said you left it high. What happened? Yeah, Samantha was ill. I had to go spend some time with her. Seriously, bro? Like, it just... Now it makes sense. No wonder she couldn't come for the surprise party that I set up for her. My poor baby. Bro. This girl left you hanging the other day and you went to take care of her in her house. That's foolish of you. Guy, didn't you hear me? She was ill. Bro, what's wrong with you? How long have you been chasing this girl? A year, two years maybe? Guy, please, I'm not in the mood for your bickering, okay? I'm worried about Samantha. I don't know why she's not picking up. Bro, I, I really don't know what's wrong with you. You spent so much money organizing that birthday party for Samantha. 
She stood you up. Why not just let this girl go? Be She's not interested in because you. Because I love her. Wow. Yes, I love her. True love is patient. Really? Bro. Look at you. Look at your business. It's suffering. You kept your life on hold because of this girl that's not interested in you. Why? Yo, please. It's enough. I beg. It's okay. It's, it's fine. Where's my attire? What attire? The attire I'm supposed to use for the wedding on Saturday. Uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to... I'm on it. Don't worry. Uh, uh, trust me now. I'm on it. Sharp, sharp. It will be ready. Uh, uh. My guy. <laughs> you know, thank you for coming to remind me. This is why you're my guy. Eh? My G for life. Don't worry. I'm on it. I'm on it. You know, I was actually going to um, start cutting it today just before you walked in. Cutting? Yeah, don't... <sighs> guy, don't worry. Uh, this thing will be ready before Saturday now. It's not a problem. Hello, gorgeous. Good morning. What is it? I was sleeping. I'm sorry I woke you up. Uh, I brought you something. What was that? See for yourself. Look, Daniel, please, I don't have time for this rubbish. What is it? Snails and seafood. Cooked or raw? <clears throat> raw. I know who's going to prepare it. Do I look like I have the time to slip away in the kitchen? No, 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 no. I'll prepare it. I bought enough to last for a week. Good. So you come every day and make a fresh batch. You approve? Just don't burn down my kitchen. <sighs> Is this food? Seafood? I made it with the recipe that I found online. If you knew that you couldn't prepare it, why then did you buy it? Babe, I know you love seafood, so I figured that... Oh, you figured that I would die slaving away in the kitchen, right? <sighs> Daniel, look around you. Nobody cooks anymore. Your mates keep hiring chefs for their girlfriends, but what do you do? You go out there, you buy raw food, and you try to poison me. Wait, wait. Let's go back. Girlfriend? You're my girlfriend? Daniel, just... just wait, wait, no, 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 no. Take wait, this food away. No, you can't take it back. We're dating? You're, you're my girl? Can you just take this plate away? Finally. Babe, this is the happiest day of my life. Are you retarded? No. <laughs> 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 take that away. Samantha. Samantha. 
Sammy, baby. I need water. Baby, water, 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 yeah, water, water. Water for my queen. Come and take this away. Baby, I'm coming. Let me get you water first. Toast to what exactly? To a life of love and happiness. Oh, okay. <laughs> With uh, who? Well, I'm currently dating the best girl in the world. Oh, wow. Congratulations, okay. Thank you. That's the energy I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks, man. Wow. Okay. So, who's the lucky girl? When did you meet her? When did I meet her? Yeah. I've known her for almost a year. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me it is... Samantha. <laughs> Samantha has finally agreed to be my girl. Wait, wait, wait. So, you're determined to be with a girl who doesn't love you, cherish, adore you? Is that what you want to do? No, she loves me. She just has her own way of expressing it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wait, so, did she tell you why she stood you up the other day at the surprise birthday party? Guy, can we just forget about that for now? I'm sure she was busy. Oh, she was too busy to show up at her party. Bro. Anyways, it's not my life, it's yours. And at this point, I say good luck to you, my friend. That's it, I don't understand. Bro, I'm out of here, all right? Ah, ah. Cheers. Guy. Oh, wow. You don't tell me you say you'd be enemy of progress, oh. It was celebrating anyway. More for me. To my girl, Samantha. I wanted to relocate just because I wanted to see you. Oh, 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 oh. Just come. Audrey, I wanted to talk. I just felt that I have to say this. Okay. Audrey, uh, you're a great person. You're beautiful. Thank you. I think you have a good heart. Baby, you're making me blush. <laughs> you didn't have to. But we need to end this. And what? Let's break up. <laughs> Let's. Look, Audrey, it's. I know it's not. It's not gonna be easy for you to just take it, but yeah, it's the best I can say right now because. Yeah, no, we. You don't know what you're saying. <sighs> We are in love. Okay. I loved you once, yeah, but I'm in love with someone else. I am. Look, I would appreciate if we can handle this like adults. No, you can't. You love me. You love me. It's me. It's Audrey. It's me. You love me. Not anymore, Audrey. Audrey, I want you to hear me out. I'm in love with someone else. I can't keep lying to myself and lying to you too. That's not true, baby. You can't do this to me. You can do this, baby. Whatever it is that I've done, I'm sorry. I apologize, but... Look, you did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. I promise you, you did nothing wrong. But I'm in love with someone else. Look, when I moved to the UK, this girl housed me and... We've just been great together. Look, I want you to understand. I don't want to lie to you. You can... You don't love her. You love me. It's I love me. Her. I love her, Audrey. No, you don't. Please, please, please try and just fix 
things. We okay. can fix it. Okay. Oh, Jade. We can't fix anything. As a matter of fact, I am a fancy came back just because we have our introduction. In less than a week. <laughs> you can't. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting married. I'm sorry. Baby, I love you. Baby, please don't. I kept on digging <laughs> Did you alive? <laughs> Did you even know? <laughs> Did you still care? <laughs> Let me know <laughs> If I deserve to receive love <laughs> It's broken now <laughs> If you left the home <laughs> If I did anything, it would it be nice if you tell me that oh, leave when I needed you? If I'm worth anything. Hey, babe. Oh. Okay, calm down. Calm down. What? Okay, I'm, I'm coming, okay? Just just relax. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Guy. Okay. Hey, bro. What's up? I'm good. Where are you going? I have an emergency. An emergency? Where? Audrey fainted. Who's Audrey? Samantha's friend. Isn't she supposed to call a doctor? Why is she calling you? Guy, yeah, I have to be there for Samantha, okay? She doesn't know what to do. She's she's a mess. Wait. Yeah, um, I'm coming, wait. I'm coming. Dan just... Chill. Daniel, where is my... Where's my outfit? do this to you? What did I ever do to him? Men has come, generally. All I have done is love him. I have supported him, I have loved him. What did I do to him? If I catch that guy, if I catch him like this, the blood that will flow. He said he's in love with his fiance. What about me? What about me? Does it mean that all the five years that I've spent with him, they mean nothing? Babe, this is a clear example of men cannot be trusted in any way. That's why it's always good to, you know, not put all your eggs in one basket. Just have them plenty. I can't. My chest hurts. I'm it is so much. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, babe. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would you do this? I'm so sorry. Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed. So much for coming to help me look after my friend. See the way you were sleeping shamelessly. Sorry, I was tired. How is she? Sleeping. Mm. Babe, I was worried though. She cried really hard. Which is exactly why I detest you poor men. It's the audacity for you people to cheat even though you have no money. At least if it was a rich man now I can understand when he cheats, you know. But you poor people, I just don't get it. Babe, babe, you know that I can never cheat on you, right? 
Whatever. You should leave now. Leave? Home? Babe, it's, it's later. It's past midnight. I, I so? I wanted you to settle in so we can sleep together. You and who? That's not happening. Please leave my house. Babe, I can't leave. I'm, I, I can't drive. I'm really tired. Can I please crash? Baby. Here, call a cab. Okay, you need to leave. I'm not about to share my bed with anybody. Baby, you won't even notice that I'm here. Okay, you just. Daniel, I am tired. Please leave. Baby, please leave. Okay, baby, baby, wait, 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 wait. Can I at least get a kiss? We haven't really kissed since we started this relationship. Baby, just one kiss. Ah! Daniel, leave my house. Baby, Daniel, you leave my room. Kiss. What the hell? Where are you getting all this strength out, from? Out, out, out! I need to lock my door. that he's not getting married to me. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to let this slide. I have to fight for my man. <laughs> just, just relax. Alex is my dream. Relax, okay? Just relax. I need to, need to demand a reason why he left me. Maybe if I if I go there myself and I and I see his family, maybe they'll explain to me because I don't know why. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, okay. We'll go there. Let's go there, okay? Um go get change. No, I'll take you there. You go. Okay. Um, I just need to call Daniel and, and then we can go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry. Come here, let me just try and get the first aid kit. Oh. I'm so sorry. Come, oh, my head. Sorry. Come, come, come. Are you a man or a chicken? Babe, what? What was so difficult in handling those bouncers? You just let them beat you up like that. Baby, there were three bouncers. It was three to one. Oh, please shut up. You are so useless. You're sitting down there groaning, oh, oh, my head like a baby. Are you not a man? Ah, Look. Yeah. If, if I were to be a lady, I'd have messed them up myself. Ah, Samantha. He has heard enough of it. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have even allowed you to be involved in the first place. Ah, I don't understand. Is he not my boyfriend? Can't he help my friend? Baby, I'm your boyfriend and I'm not tall. I'm not tall. This is all my fault. I should not have even bothered going to that introduction in the first place. I should have just let sleeping dogs lie. Ah. It's not your fault, babe. Why couldn't you just charge in there like a man and just and just attack that buffalo called Alex? All this rubbish wouldn't have happened. Can we just... Instead, he was there peeping, peeping. Why would the bouncers beat him and slap this his face? Can you just stop? Can't you see he's wounded? And we need to just help him. Help him? He would have smashed his head into the wall more. That wound is not enough. Rubbish.
you say? Hmm? Babe, it would be nice for us to spend the weekend together. <laughs> well, I'm allergic to mosquito and cockroach infested houses. I don't understand. <sighs> Daniel, your house is not up to par. There is no way I'm spending the night in that hellhole. Okay, I... I'm currently looking for a new place to move into. Good. Until then, I will not be spending the night at yours. Okay, okay, babe. How about we go somewhere and have lunch? Okay, I, I found this beautiful restaurant. Exactly it's how are we going to get there? My car. <laughs> Your car? That run down jalopy. What? Oh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. You want me, me, to enter that, that kabu kabu? Daniel, can you not drag me down to your level? Babe. I understand that I'm dating a guy that is, that is way below my league, but please, can you not rub it in? Sorry, uh, I just wanted us to, you know, spend some time together. Change it. I will not be caught dead in it. I'm working on it. I'll try and change it, okay? You can leave now. I have stuff to do. Work starts on Monday. Okay, baby. Um, I'll, I'll see you later, okay? I love you. What's the emergency? Leo, my guy. Hey. <laughs> How far now? I'm, I'm okay. Come, I hope you're done with my outfit. <sighs> Your outfit is ready. Okay, but that, that's not the reason I called. Okay. There's this car I saw online, and I'd like us to check it out together. A car? Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to buy it. Oh, but bro, you have a car. Why do you need another one? <laughs> That old car? Yeah, I need to upgrade. Oh. Yeah. But bro, you can manage the car you have. Besides, I know you don't have the resources for another one. Yeah, I don't worry about resources. God will provide the funds. Don't worry, don't worry. You're talking too much. Guy, let's go check this car. Oh. Yeah, guy, guy, guy. Move, move now. Okay. <clears throat> hey, baby. What are you doing here? You told me that the dispatch rider was waiting outside. Why are you here? Baby, calm down, okay? It's for a good reason. It's 5 p.m. Are, are you done with work? You still haven't answered my question. Why are you here? To drive you home, of course. <laughs> if this is a joke, stop it. Listen, you need to leave. My colleagues will come out anytime now. Just, baby, just go. Baby, baby, I reserved a table for us at a very nice restaurant. Can you just leave? Anybody could come and see you here. Go, just, Why? just, just go. B because of my car? <laughs> Wait, you, you, you want a new car? Surprised? <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. Um, I'll just go grab my things. Okay, baby. I'll be waiting. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> can you just... just yeah, do you, I, do I you go. need me to come? No, no! Me. Just... Can you go? Just wait in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Move 
Masakit. Hey, what you Oh, jeez. It's really hot. He changed his car for you. It's still not good enough. Sunny. Daniel is trying, at least he's persistent. He's sick. Sammy. Look, no matter what he does, it will never be good enough. I've seen better. Do you know that the least kind in such his father's house is a 2022 Mercedes Benz C class? And so? So I deserve better. What else do you want him to do? Drain his blood for you? Well, if it's what billions. <laughs> this past few weeks, I have realized that a good man is worth more than all the wealth in this world. Whatever. At least I have my peace of mind, happy, and I'm content. If money is the problem, you two can build together, stronger. Really? Just like you did with Alex, and he left you and ran up with a British citizen, Abby. Babe, babe, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean it that way. No, it's okay, it's fine. I'm not in the best position to advise you, so... It didn't come out right, I promise. I I'm sorry. Dre. Dre, I'm sorry. Keep going. Jeez, why, why am I walking with my eyes closed again? Yeah, because I it's a surprise. Oh. So you have to keep your eyes closed. We're almost there. Just like a few more steps. Too much. And we're there. Okay, keep it closed. Can I open my eyes now? Ta-da! You can open your eyes. What is this place? My new apartment. You bought it? It's rented, but yes, I just moved in. <laughs> <laughs> you rented it? Why didn't you buy it? Babe, it's quite expensive. So? Other guys buy bigger houses. Oh wait, I forgot. You're just a common tailor. Babe, <laughs> look, I know that you deserve better and I'm doing my best to give you the kind of life that you deserve. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that I'm complaining? No, no, never. I'm just saying that I'll do everything within my power to give you the kind of life that you've always wanted. <laughs> I hope everything is to your taste. Why is this thread sticking out? My gosh. What are these colors? What are these combinations? Like. What kind of interior designer did you contract to do this place? It's, I don't, it's so raz and tacky and everything. Gosh, like, there's even barrels staying there. And... Well, we can always work on this. Work on this? Yeah, it's, it's something you like. Hideous. Gosh. Should I get you uh, juice, something mm. for it? Yeah, whatever. Okay. Would you like something to eat? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? I, I have... Ah, oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you crazy, Daniel? You took a loan from a local loan shack? Why and how? Guy, okay. I will pay back. All right? Relax. Hopefully, business will do well, so... You borrowed the sum of 10 million Naira. How do you expect to pay back? Guy, can 
you relax? Just rest. I run a pretty successful business. A successful business that you haven't been paying attention to because of Samantha. Guy, why did you drink Panadol for another man headache now? What did he do? I'm glad you realize that you have a headache. I guess this one you're having is more than a headache. This is a migraine you're having. <sighs> You know what your problem is? You, you, they speak too much English. That's what your problem is. Relax. Everything is under control. The most important thing is that my girlfriend is happy. Wow. Daniel, when will you realize that Samantha is just using you? When? She's not. Really? Mm -hmm. You see, I'm done talking to you as a friend. But do not come running to me when this whole thing gets out of hand, okay? Leo, yeah. I will do no such thing. That's now let good. me whoop your ass. Stop talking. That's great, bro. Let's see. See, I told you, you talk too much. Now watch how this thing is done. Okay, see. <clears throat> okay. Why are you drinking? Babe, hey, talk to me. What's going on? Why does my life suck? What? How does your life suck? First, I lost my man of five years to a woman he met abroad. Now I've lost my job. What? You lost your job? How much more bad luck can I get? No, this can't be happening. Why were you fired? Do you downsize him? I wasn't able to meet my KPI for the month, so... Ah, uh -uh. but that's not fair now. You've been meeting all your KPIs month after month, the month before last month as well. So how can they just use a month where you were heartbroken to judge you and then and then let you go? First, I was in the single market. Now I've just joined the joint market. Babe. I'm sorry. Everything is going to be fine. But um, I think that we should find a way. How about you text your MD and explain everything to him? He might understand. There's no point. It's too late. It's not going to change anything. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> no, no alcohol. You left the hole in Hey, babe. How's the interview going? I'm already on my way home. Well, they say they're going to give me a call. Oh, why do you sound like that? Don't worry, be optimistic, okay? Listen, you are the best business developer, so I'm sure that it will be fine. <sighs> it's been two weeks, and I'm beginning to lose all my hopes. Relax, okay? Everything will be okay. Hmm? See you. Bye. <laughs>
stop. You're, you're so clingy. Babe, I just want a kiss. Just one kiss. How can I kiss you when you're so hot in here? Hot? Oh, babe, the AC is on. Where? It's on. <laughs> you call these things ACs? No, no, really, you call these things AC? Look, these ACs that you got, they are too small for this space. Can't you see that this space is big? It's big and there's no space, you're just... <sighs> Baby, you're the reason I got a second AC. I'm actually cold. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? You're actually cold. That's because you're so used to being poor. You're so used to living in the slums that... It, it... How, how can you call this cold? Used to sweating and all this hard life. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Look, I'm not about that life, okay? I'm used to being in cozy environments where the ACs actually work. <laughs> you know nothing about cold environments. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> that reminds me. Um, I'm going to forward Audrey's CV to you. Audrey's CV? Why? Mm -hmm. I need for you to find her a job. And you have one week. Uh uh. But I'm not a recruitment agency now. So you're not going to do it? I'll, I'll try. Good. Find her a job and then um, we'll see if I'll spend the night here next time. You'll spend the night here? Find her the job first. My baby. Oh, ah. my baby. You're going to spend the night in this house? My hair. Easy. Baby, baby, baby. No! Baby. My hair, geez. Do you know how long it took to curl this hair? Baby, I love you. Ah. Baby. So hot. Oh my I'll gosh, get your hands baby, off my back. A, I'll find a job in three days. You're choking me. You. Okay, good. Great. Just, get it done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't like that you do that. Why would you do that? He's jobless. I want to keep him busy. Daniel is not jobless. He owns a fashion house. Stop, okay? I'm doing this for you. Well, I, I don't like your method. Whatever. Let's just hope that with the deadline that I've given him, he'll be able to come up with something in no time. <sighs> this guy likes you. I do not like the way you're stressing him. He's my boyfriend. I'm allowed to stress him however I want. Okay, then stress him for yourself. Why do you have to stress him for me? Uh-uh. See this woman, oh. I'm like trying to help you and you're sitting down here acting all high and mighty. I just don't like the way you're going about this at all. Don't like it. Okay. Still keep searching for your job. I mean, if you find one first, great. If he doesn't, it's better for me. So that you don't say I'm stressing somebody's son. Bye, girl. Yo, Waji, I'm Yo, so bro. sorry I kept you away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off or no? Yeah. So, did you find anything? I Man, sadly, I didn't. You know, no. How come? You're in the corporate world. Okay, what if I'm in the corporate world? Does that make me a job magnet? No. Doesn't work that way. <sighs> Samantha gave me one week, and tomorrow is the deadline. But that's a heartless thing. It's heartless of heart of thought. Leo, please, stop it. Well, bro. How could she give you a one-week deadline when you don't own a company that can employ her friend? How? That is a brilliant idea. What's a brilliant idea? I can actually employ Audrey here at the fashion house. But bro, you're owing a lot of money. How are you going to pay us out? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. <sighs> Well, if you ask me, I don't think that's a good idea, you know? Yeah, it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> you sure? Leo, 
you're a genius. You don't you, you don't know it. I actually don't think you know that you're a genius. I don't know about that idea though. Brilliant! Say that again. You want to hire Audrey to work in that cheap shop of yours? Babe, I need a manager and Audrey fits the role. No. Why not? Daniel, why do you have a way of dragging people to your level? Do you realize that Audrey used to be the business executive of a big company? How can you even think of employing her in that? That would be a mashup of yours. Because I am going to pay her very well. Instead of just admitting that you have no connections to get her a proper job, you're seated here talking shit. I'll take it. I'll take the job. Babe, you can't be serious. Have you been to his fashion store? Look, that place has no class, no finesse whatsoever. You can't take it. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, if he's going to pay me what I was earning in my former place of work. I'll take the job. Thank you. You may not enjoy the benefits that you're used to. Oh no, that's fine. It's temporary, so it will pass. Perfect. That's, Thank that's you. Fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. What is wrong with this girl? Thank you, yeah. Daniel. You're welcome. You're welcome. What is her problem? Hey, you see, even Audrey agrees that, you know, it's, it's good. Hmm? Hey, come on. Oh, Babe, should I? Babe. This is really nice. Yeah? I'm glad you like it. I do. You're doing such a great job here. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, um, you'll be handling my orders and managing clients. You'll also be taking phone calls. Zeb, how are you doing? Okay. Thank you. I have two lines. One is strictly business and the other is personal. So I'm going to um, insert the business line into another phone for you so you can use. Okay, that's not a problem. Mm. So how do you attract new clients? Um, mostly referrals. Just referrals? Just referrals. So about how many orders do you get every day? Uh, say eight to ten. Eight to ten? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Thank you. We try. Do you make the clothes yourself? No. I have a staff. Uh, his office is at the back. Oh. Yeah. He handles the bulk orders while I take care of the custom ones. Wow. Mm -hmm. Impressive. Yeah. So, when can you start? Mm, tomorrow. I have, I mean, I'm so happy to work in a fashion house. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the team, Audrey. Thank you so much, Daniel. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, yeah, let me show you around, take you to the... But yeah, this, uh, this is yours. Okay. <laughs> Your space. And um, this is where we have... Like, Babe, why aren't you back at this time? Hmm, I had a lot of places to cover. I was handling flyers. What? Daniel has you handing out flyers. I knew it. I knew he was going to make you do some dirty work. Hey, I'm the one who wanted to do it. And handling flyers is no dirty work. Look, what you're doing right now is just temporal. I need you to know that you're going to get a way better job, okay? When the time comes. I'm still going to give me a piece of a mind, share because this is rubbish. Anyways, just get here soon, okay? Bye. 
I must say, Samantha's friend is nothing like her. What is that supposed to mean? She's different, you know. Yeah. As it should be. Samantha is my girlfriend. Mm. Audrey is my staff. Mm. You're still living in denial, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Now look at the whole place. It's all organized. You know, looking good. Great. As a matter of fact. <laughs> well, I hired the best. Mm. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hey. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah. Um. You remember my friend, Leo, the talker to <laughs> Oh, hi, Leo. Yeah, I must commend your great work, Say You're doing an absolutely wonderful job here. Yeah. I saw Daniel's flyer at a popular restaurant down the road. But Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, my dear. How did you do it? Because I know most restaurants don't allow flyers, don't they? Well, let's just say I have my ways. Oh, mm. wow. <laughs> nice. Good job, eh? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you smiling so hard? Dude? Because you know on? why I, I am smiling. Stop coming to this. <laughs> to this you know uh, I can't stop this. right now. Besides, you know how many clothes I've made from you. Like, you should give him one bonus shirt. I don't there. understand. As what? So, approximately how long is your break time? Two to three hours. Depends on my mood. So you get to work by 9, and you leave work by 6 p.m., and you have two to three hours break. So that leaves you with six to seven hours work time? Yes. I don't think that's enough time to be productive. I think you should spend more time working, and when you get off work, you can take your breaks. How about you get to work by 9 a.m.? and wrap by 6 p.m. So you have more time to be more productive. Okay. That way you'd have more time to, you know, you'd have your leisure time to rest. Okay. Okay. To make money, you need to be very intentional. Yeah, you're right. You're actually right. Sounds like a plan. Babe. Uh, oh. Where are you going to? I need to get to the office. The office? It's Saturday. Yes, but I have work. <laughs> Babe, I thought we were going to spend the weekend together. Daniel, can you stop being so clingy? I told you that I have work. I have to go. Okay, 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 fine. Let me drop you off. I can manage. Babe, I insist, okay? Just give me a second, let me change it to something else and get my car keys, okay? Whatever. Trust me, this is my small bed though. Because I don't want you to start kicking me. <laughs> Whatever. Babe, I have something to tell you. Mm, what is it? Do you remember my new boss? Mm, what about him? We hung out this evening. <laughs> you hung out? Yes, he asked me to a drink and I went to him. Gosh, he is such a cool dude. Do you know that his family owns like 50 properties in this Lagos? <sighs> so me. You have a boyfriend. What do you mean hung out? Why are you such a cute joy? I don't understand. So if I have a boyfriend, I cannot admire somebody else. I'm just saying, Daniel loves and respects you. I don't want you to ruin things with him. Yeah, whatever. 
Anyways, we kissed. What? Babe, it felt so good. Gosh, I almost like did everything, but I just had to like control myself because you know, I didn't do anything, shall. Sammy, I know you like luxury, big things, I know, but come on, Daniel loves you. I'm reviewing things at the store with him, and I know give him six months to a year, he will get himself together. Things will get better. It is so boring speaking to you these days. Jeez, you're such a cute joy. So excited to come and talk to you. This is all I get. Good night, Abe. Sammy. Good afternoon. My name is Audrey from House of Daniel. How may I be of help? Pay the money you owe. Or we will show up and you won't like it. Um, I'm sorry, who is this, please? I think you have the wrong number. Is this not uh, Daniel or Muslim? Tell him that I give him one week or he will hear from me. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Hello? So, is that why you called in sick and didn't come to the store for two days? Yeah. I'm sorry you had to take that call. What did you do? I took a loan. From who? The bank? Did they sound like bank workers? No. They actually sounded like thugs. <sighs> There's this guy I used to know. He told me about some guys that do this loan thing. What they do is they, they give you a lot of money for a short period of time and you pay interest. So I am. Um, I, um... Uh, <sighs> How much did you borrow? Ten... Ten million. Ten... what? I, I was hoping to pay back in a short period of time. This is business deal I was expecting, but it didn't happen. I wanted to pay back the first five million in three months, but I've only been able to pay 1.5. And you hired me? How were you supposed to pay my salary? You know what, it's fine. Forget about my salary. When is the first payment due? Tomorrow. And if you're not able to, what happens? If I can't meet up, then they'll charge me 100,000 naira per day as interest. What? That is broad daylight robbery. So they're literally going to take the money that you have paid 
from the amount that you pay? Yes. What are we going to do now? I, I, I don't know. Well, I'm just thinking of selling some of my properties in the house, but I really don't know how much that can get me. So, um, I don't know. Okay, well, the 10 million naira that you collected, I'm sure you invested it in some business. I, um... I upgraded my lifestyle. Oh, oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Babe, yes. what is it? Daniel's store just got vandalized. Oh. So where are you going? I'm going to the store. Uh -uh. Are you crazy? The store just got vandalized and you want to go there? What if the people that raided it are still there? Do you want to get hurt? Samantha, I work there. I should I care. So? Please, please, I beg, don't go anywhere. Come, don't go anywhere. It's not in your place. Samantha. Babe, I, I beg you sometimes. I beg, I beg, I beg. Dre! Dre! that I made for some clients. I was able to talk to some of our friends and uh, we were able to come up with 4 million naira, but we still have 3.5 million to go. Oh my goodness, thank you so, so much. God bless you. I have some money as well. I could, I could loan you. Audrina, come on, I can't take money from you. I mean, you've barely spent a month with me and, and this happened. It's I... fine, it's okay. It's just gonna be my contribution. Thank you. How about Samantha? Where is she? Uh, Didn't she hear of what happened to Daniel? Yeah, she's on her way. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you had something to eat? Okay, you know what? Let me quickly fix you something to eat. I'm so happy that you're here. Mm. How are you? How are things? Bad. Really bad. But um, I got some support from a few friends. I'll pay them back with time. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. How are you? Audrey told me that you've been busy. Yeah, I have. Yeah. Look, I feel much better now that I've seen you. Listen, um, about that. We need to talk. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's talk inside. No, no, no. There'll be no need for that. Um, I'm in a hurry, so I'd rather just stand here and get this over and done with. 
I, I hope there's no problem. I mean, you just arrived. <sighs> you know what? This, this entire thing, okay? This you and I, whatever's going on here, not working anymore. <sighs> what do you mean? Daniel, Daniel, let's let's end this. End things. Mm -hmm. Why? I, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? No! You didn't. Look, I want more. I want more. I deserve more. And I'm tired of settling for less. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm willing to give you more. Right? How are you willing to give me more? How are you willing to give me more? <laughs> this is the best that you can do. And, and now even your best has been taken away from you. I, I cannot do this Please, anymore. Come on, you, you can't just say that to me. I mean... I'm, I'm doing my best, okay? Well, your best is not good enough. You can't just come here and, and tell me this. Please. Look, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really cannot do this hey, anymore. Okay, okay. Uh, is it my fault? Okay, you know what? I'm going to work hard. I promise you. I'm going to do anything that you want me to do. Please, just don't leave me. Okay, this is a very difficult time for me. Hey, don't leave me right now. Um, I'm going through a lot right now. I have now. to go. Please. I'm sorry, I cannot do this. I have to go. Hey. I have... Babe, babe, listen to me, babe, babe, babe. We can always talk about this. We can always. What about this? You anything that you want? I don't I'll do anything you want. Hey, baby, listen to me, it's please. I'm so. I cannot do this. Please don't, don't, baby. Samantha, please. I'm begging you, don't leave me, please. What the hell? Leave me alone. Samantha, I'm done. I cannot do this. You have nothing to offer. You, you. I'll do anything that you want me to do. I'll, I'll work hard. Anything that you want me to do, I'll do it. Okay, just don't go. I have to go. You, you, you. I can't do this. Samantha. Don't touch me. Samantha. Samantha! Samantha! Hold on. Hi. Hi. Yeah, where's Samantha? Uh, I don't know. I didn't meet her when I got home. Okay, um, I'd like to see her. I, I want to talk to her. Well, she's not here. Okay. Uh, is it okay if I wait for her? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Would you like to eat something? No, no, I'm fine. I just, I just want to wait for her. Okay. Yeah. Alright, no problem. Okay. I'm just waiting for her. She'll soon be home, okay? Okay. so difficult to break up with you, I wouldn't have said yes to you in the first place. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, whatever I have done, please, I'm sorry. Can you just leave my house? Please forgive me, please. Leave. Please, wait, wait, wait. Stand up, leave my house. Samantha, Stand up, leave. Let's talk about Samantha. this. Please, just hear him out. Why did you let him into this house? Didn't I tell you that we're done? This house is equally mine. So I can let him in if I want to. Besides, he's my boss. Oh, really? Fine! No problem. But stay far away from me. Don't come an inch close to me. Samantha. Rubbish. Yeah, I... Yeah, go for Have you had something to eat? No, 
know, to forget about me. Just find out if she's eating. She looks stressed. Okay, no problem. It's fine. I'll just let me just get you something to eat first. Okay? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you have to eat something. Sammy. You see, Daniel, there's no point you crying over spilt milk. You see that car? You're gonna sell it and use the money to pay off your debt. What funny you listen to me from the onset and uh, not allow Samantha to manipulate Can we you? just stop blaming Daniel? I mean, it has happened already. What we should be trying to do now is to help him get back on his feet. Well, true. The clients have been calling. They're worried. They're just expressing their concerns. I had to make them know that everything is okay. Oh, wow, thank you very much, uh, Audrey, for doing that. Good move. You need to get back to work. There's so much to do. Yeah. The store is still in disarray. Yes, it is, but I feel like we can create something temporarily. Like convert one of the rooms in the house to a temporary workstation until we get back to the fashion store. That's a brilliant idea, Audrey. I never thought about that. Nice. Thank you, Audrey. I don't know what I would have done without you. I don't think Leo is coming. Hmm. Is the traffic that bad? Oh, well, you know it rained, so something must have blocked the roads. Yeah, I guess. How is Samantha? Oh. I know she has moved on. It's been almost <gasps> three months. Yeah. Well, she's fine. Hmm. I'm happy for her. I know that it's hard. I mean, moving on, but you'd get there. You know, 
You've been super supportive these past few months. I'm lucky to have you. Well, you have been working really hard. Mm-hmm. I learned the hard way. I'm never borrowing money from thugs again. Please don't. Yeah. It's funny that we've known each other for some time, but we really don't know much about each other, if you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess we never had a reason to. Well, I'm interested in knowing about you. Like, where did you grow up? Um, what kind of family do you have? Uh, well, I grew up in Ibadan. Hmm. I live with my parents. They're both retired. I'm from a family of three. Second child, only girl. <laughs> <laughs> It must have been fun being raised by both parents. Why did you say that? Were you not raised by both parents? My mom abandoned me when I was a child and um, she left my father to do all the work and my dad was too busy, so he hired someone else to do the job. Oh my goodness, that is so sad. Yeah. I've suffered from abandonment for a long time. Which is why I'm always scared of being left behind. I'm so sorry. I mean, I used to wonder why you held on to Samantha so much. I really like Samantha. It's unfortunate that she doesn't feel the same way about me. It's okay. Don't worry, someday you'll meet someone that would love you just as much. Yeah. <sighs> um. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> Now I feel like I do know what to do. <sighs> you can surrender. <laughs> I've just got a contract with a global company. What, what, what do you mean? So Zintech Global Company, they're celebrating their 10th anniversary and so they're trying to make uniforms for their staff, local and international. We got the contract! Are you, are you joking? No, I am not! That is not all. We're going to be getting paid in dollars. So all of our outfits are going to cost more. You're being serious? I am serious! So we're going to make a total of 300 uniforms for their staff. 300? Mm-hmm. That is not all. We are going to get them paid in dollars. You're serious? I'm serious. I, I, I can't believe this. <laughs> how, how did you get the contract? So my former boss, he works there. So I met him and then he asked me, where do I work? And I told him I work at a fashion company. And that's it? And that's it. <laughs> we got it. This is amazing. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I'm serious. Thank you. I... Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh -uh, babe, you're always out so early these days, even on weekends. We have a lot of work going on at the store. Hmm. I see. We hired new staff too, but they're temporary. At least until we're done with our bulk orders. Okay, I see. Anyways, <laughs> I'm traveling. To see your parents? Mm-hmm. I see. Nope. My boo and I are going on a short vacation to Zanzibar. Good for you then. 
Yes, girl, he takes good care of me. I'm gonna have such a blast. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay, have a safe trip. So anyways, I'll see you when I get back. Good luck with work, wish me luck. It feels, uh, <sighs> I, I think this job is taking the toll on you. Yeah, it's been a hectic one month. I know, right? But it feels good seeing you work hard again, you know? You sound as though I never used to work this hard. Not this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I don't work hard, Audrey will have my head. Oh, speaking of Audrey, Audrey is such a good motivator, you know? Yeah? Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, she is a good motivator, you know? And yeah, she got you a big client, right? Mm -hmm. And she's working tirelessly to make sure she gives your fashion house a new face and lift. I'm really glad I hired her. Mm. You know, Audrey makes the same bits of a feather in line. Yeah, because I used to think that Audrey and Samantha were the same thing, but apparently they're not. You know, I think Audrey is a better person for you. What do you mean a better person for me? Do you mind dating Audrey? Are you insane? No, I'm not insane. We just work together. That's mm. all. Okay. Okay. Anyways, I'll keep my mouth shut before you eat my head off. <laughs> yeah, okay. But I really think she's, you know, intelligent, beautiful, smart, you know, all endowed. Since when did you start hooking people up? <laughs> Well, just now. Nah. I just started. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, in doubt. Now, nah, there we go see you. In yeah. doubt, you know. Come in. There's no one around. Are you scared? I'm not scared or anything. Well, I know you're not scared, but you also don't want trouble. Exactly. She's not home. She traveled. I see. Have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. So, would you like something to drink? Yes, please. Something cold, preferably. <laughs> Uh -huh. The beach was really hot. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wanted you to drink something cold and you refused. Now you want to finish my cold drink. Yeah, but I wasn't thirsty at the time. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Give me a second. Sure. Sorry. Hey, I was about to ask if you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <clears throat> cold enough? <laughs> yes, cold enough. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, on another note, Zintec company, the order will be finally getting ready soon. <laughs> Must we always talk about work? I mean, we hung out today just to escape from it, remember? I'm sorry. That is all I can think of. So, what do you do for fun? Uh, movies. Okay. Sleep. And maybe books. Sometimes. That, that's all? You don't go out? <laughs> well, I used to. Until my ex relocated. Oh yeah, that ex. That Actually ex. still all that guy at punch. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know, I actually felt so guilty. I mean, Samantha and I watching you get beaten up. Yeah, it was my fault. I knew that I couldn't fight and yet I went there to cause trouble. No, I got you involved. Yeah, to be honest, it was an unfair fight. Three bouncers against me. <laughs> but like I said, my fault. I wanted to show off. coming back uh, maybe next week okay the truth is i don't even know when we are coming back we we're supposed to be back last week but Lebo moved our flight <laughs> all right then that reminds me your birthday is in two days oh yeah i know you should go out and celebrate <laughs> celebrate what with who i beg please Just what? So you want to start threatening me now? <laughs> Sammy, please. Anyways, Lebu is here. I have to go now. Talk to you later, baby girl. Okay, okay. Bye. Good night. I find out that today is my birthday. I, I don't remember telling you. Blow out your candle and make a wish. Okay. Did you make a wish? Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such a huge surprise. Well, I stumbled on your employment contract and I saw your birth date. Oh, wow. Why didn't you say anything? What was I supposed to say? Hey, my birthday is on the 24th. Still, you should have said something. Um, you, you mean you did this decor for me? Mm hmm For the best staff in the world. Plus, we're celebrating with a movie and a very nice meal from a good restaurant. That would be nice. <laughs> Thank you. That must be the food. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right, bye. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful movie. Are you, are you crying? The love 
this was so beautiful. I mean, after everything they went through. It's okay. It's just a movie. I know. I wonder why I'm just being such an emotional wreck. No, you're not. Okay, hey. It's okay. It's okay. I'm trying to stop crying. It's okay. It's just a movie. Hello? Um, hi, yeah. No? Oh, okay, um, yeah, that's fine. I'll be there shortly. Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? Are you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to go. Thank you so much for the surprise. Um, do, do you need me to? No, fine. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, thank you. Bye. I want you best. Bless, bless my baby. Please be my girl. Girl, 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 my baby. I'll be your man. Man, man, man. Oh, baby. You make me blessed. Bless, bless, bless my baby. I want you blessed. Bless, bless, bless my baby. Please be my girl. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? What happened? Why are you crying? What happened to me? Talk to me now. Why are you crying like this? We... We got to the airport and... Okay. That's a mad woman just came charging at me. Jesus. She was hitting me and screaming. Oh, my God. She even came with some other people and they were punching me and calling me names. <laughs> Apparently, Lebu is married with four children and he did not tell me. He, he, he took me on vacation and left his wife and then she, she went to investigate everything and they don't give her the embarrassing me at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Why do bad things always happen to me? Why? Why don't I ever get the good guys? Stop. What am I doing wrong? Shh, you have to tell me to stop crying. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> Let's go somewhere nice. Like old time's sake. Let me take you somewhere, babe. I'm, I'm still at work. I'm... Uh uh, no. Are you still upset with me? Look, look, I'm sorry, okay? I I just had so much going on at the time with work and everything. Just a lot of rubbish. I'm sorry, okay? I'm not gonna take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. Shall we? You're not doing anything. Okay, up, up. Up! <laughs> Missed you, baby. <laughs> this way. Bye, girl. See you at home. Bye. <laughs> See you. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. 
You what? You're taking her back? She apologized. And what if she apologized? Bro, she... Can't you remember what she did to you? Yeah, but... But she what? Bro, she ditched you when you needed her the most. And, and you're taking her back? I think she's being sincere. Oh. Leo, nobody's perfect. Oh. We all have flaws. I can't keep holding a grudge. Grudge? Did you just say grudge? Bro, keep that grudge aside. Do not take this girl back, else you're gonna regret this for the rest of your life. Do not take her back! I already have. Hmm? You're kidding me, right? I already have. Bro. Are you stupid or you're stupid? Call it whatever you want. Oh my god. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> check this out. What's, what's that? Do you like it? What, what is it? It's an engagement ring. Mm-hmm. That's what I want Daniel to buy for me. Do you want Daniel to buy you this ring? Mm hmm I told him that it's high time we got married. Married? Yes. Look, babe. I just feel like there's no point jumping from pillar to post anymore. You know? All that ever does is just produces more scars for you. You see, it's, it's, it's pointless because I have this good man that loves me so much. Yeah. <laughs> now, what do you think? Look, which one do you prefer? I told him to order this one. Do you think it is just me? Yeah, I think it's nice. <laughs> Now, guess who's going to be my maid of honor? I can't wait. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations on your engagement. Huh? I haven't even proposed yet. Well, you should. Samantha is excited. I'm yeah. happy for you both. Thanks. Yeah. I, I should get to work. If I'd known that it would be so difficult to break up with you, I wouldn't have said yes to you in the first place. Breathtaking. 
can. <laughs> Thank you. So, Daniel is coming to my office today. I told him that I wanted him to propose to me in front of my colleagues, even though I'm going to act surprised. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, that's good. Are you sure I look good? You do. Such a pity that he sold his car. He got another one. Well, it's not as good. Ugh. I told him to hire one. Hire a car? Mm hmm. Please, my fiance can't be caught on fresh. But the car that he got. It's fine. It's just fine. Okay, um. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, and all the best today with your proposal. Thank you. <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck today with your proposal. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Where is he? It's already lunch time and my colleagues are together now. This is the best moment. Audrey. I'm sorry, Samantha. I can't propose to you. Not today, not tomorrow, or even the day after that. I found someone else. It's Audrey. I've realized that I'm so happy whenever I'm with her. I hope you understand. I wish you find someone to love you, just as I have. This morning with a very heavy heart because I was about to make the biggest mistake of my life. I don't love Samantha anymore because my heart belongs to someone else and it's you. I'm in love with you, Audrey. I am so sorry that it took this long for me to realize how much I feel about you. I know this is such a bold step, but will you marry me?